I would like to say I'm most grateful as an artist for being able to do this and benefit and support AIDS. And of course, James, for donating these incredible photographs. James, you're a hero. Thank you so much for your time and your effort. Bravo. Bravo. You know, I worked on many projects, whether it's for breast cancer, adolescent sexual health. I worked on a, a project called Move for AIDS, where I actually went out and shot a book of dances of New York. One of the things I feel really lucky about is the fact that I can work on creative projects that make a difference in the community. I just wanted to do something that would bring a bit of sexy back to the environment with nature as inspiration to create a photographic project that really allowed me to live out my fantasy of getting to shoot the top models in the world and some incredible celebrities to speak to a younger audience and get them involved in the conversation around the environment. When you look at girls like Arlenis and Lais, you realise God was having a good day. <laughs> this project was really focused on the beauty we have got yes. at the moment. Like, let's look at what we have got and appreciate that. Nature does that, things you know. so well. Yeah, it like, does. It really, really yeah. does. When he sets his sight on something, do not stand in his way. When he goes, he goes the full mile. The world and the earth gives us so much that we do have to try and, and give back and, and take care of it. He really has this great eye for details and he sees these forms that most people don't see. I mean, I'm just really stoked that you're here because it means so much to the project and it's so much to me. I'm glad that we can come together, you know, from different industries and you know, hopefully bring attention to something and just get people to rethink how, how they see the world. Even though I may seem <sighs> calm on the outside, I'm freaking out sometimes on the inside because I know what's at stake. Where is she? When you get on the shoot day, there's always something that's going to come up that you've got to deal with. You've got to sort of be able to just effortlessly move into another option. I'm looking forward to replacing this coffee with a vodka tonic. Hi guys, my name is James Houston and welcome to James Houston Design. This is like a dream come true for me. I got to shoot some of the top models in the world, some incredible celebrities, and then to also make a difference with a non-profit like Global Green. I mean, this is pretty awesome. I used to be a sculptor before I became a photographer, so I'm very inspired by graphic sculptural forms. I designed this house from scratch. You know, it was interesting to spend so many years doing photography and then move into design and architecture. For me, it relates. What I love about design is the fact that you're creating a three-dimensional, five-cent experience. Being a photographer and being a visual person, I've been cataloguing images in my mind over so many years now. I guess my influence comes from spending time in, in Asia, living in Japan, Indonesia, and also from Greece, Europe, and obviously Australia, being Australian. People want to look at this as one of those incredible careers where you're traveling the world, you're shooting beautiful girls, you're meeting amazing people. The good news is that we can do anything. If you believe in it, and you can sort of literally see it, connect with that feeling and result, and then move forward to actually allow that into your life, you, you can achieve anything.